so real quick for my benefit and also the that of people listening to this because I'm sure they'll want to know where I'm at. Like I killed the gargoyles, killed the butterfly, but yeah. like now what? What do I? So I got the key after the butterfly, which unlocks the watchtower where Havel is. So that's like, uh, but I'd already been there. Yeah, because I had the master key. You need to go down. Where? So there's a couple of places you can go. So you basically need. So you do, need I, to, do I have to go fight the Capra demon? Yes. God damn it! Again? I never beat him on the Xbox. So, that's where I stopped. So did you, you beat did him in Doom Two? You did the bridge, right? True. You know, there's the bridge with the dragon. Oh shit! I haven't done that. You're right. Okay. Wait. What do I do? How do you fight that dragon, though? You don't have to. Okay. But there's a door there that's going to take right. you down into blight. T- you know, you'll start going down to the the depths and the sewers. Was well, that where you go blight toward town. the Capra Demon first? Yeah. That's the same path. Mm-hmm. Do I have the key for that? I think you get that. It's where the second bell is. So I think you start doing that after you. There must be a key to Undead Burg lower. Okay. This is this is where the, the Dark Souls experience kind of breaks for me because if I didn't have people to ask, like I'm not patient enough to run around trying every door in the game to see if I have the key for it. You didn't have to do that. Does bridge. That sense? You didn't have to do that bridge to get to the. Well, you run like road. halfway across it, and then there's the stairs yeah, down yeah. on the so side. You, you so yeah, you, I went yeah. through there. So yeah. yeah, there's a door back where Solaris. Yeah, is. I, I vague, yeah, I vaguely know what you're talking about. You must have that key now. I guess I do, but the, the point is, if I didn't have you to ask or whatever, I wouldn't know that immediately. That, like nothing. It's a in big the game. world. You could run yeah, around. Yeah, exactly. Nothing around. in the game points you to, hey, you have the key for that locked door you saw earlier. What I would do mm-hmm. is just go into your inventory and, you, and read like about that stuff. Yeah, see, I've never taken the time to look at that stuff. I'll, I'll check that out. Uh, um, yeah, there's no, like, what do I do next? Okay, so I do have to fight the Capra Demon. Fuck. Everybody has to fight the Capra Demon. I never Demon. beat it on the Xbox. <laughs> it's not so uh, bad. <clears throat> but I've got, I've got all this equip load now. I've got, like, a bunch of heavy armor on it, and I'm not fat rolling. How? Because I've got that ring, and I put a bunch of points into a... Wait, so you're wearing Havel's ring? Endurance. No. The, the Lautrec ring. Oh. Because oh, that, oh. that boosts your equip load. Oh, I see. Because it boosts your endurance? Yes. And I think your, your equip load separately, so... Wait, really? Maybe. I might be wrong. Crazy. But... <sighs> Fat rolling. Hey, Dark Souls. Hey, Fat what's rolling. up? Hey, I can't buddy. believe I said that. Yeah, I feel like I'm trucking now. Like, I actually... You just said you got a dead end, right? No, yeah, but I mean in terms of like surviving the combat and stuff. Mm-hmm. Like I, uh, like who's the guy with who's missing a leg and he shoots lightning at you like right before Dark Root? Wirt. <laughs> yep, that's the guy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Wirt's down there. Okay. He's real nasty. Like by the time I got to that guy, like I had that ring on, so I had a ton of health, and I upgraded my battle axe to plus five. He's just a demon, and I feel like I'm just sort of like yeah. And then I got down into Dark Root. Chop his tail off. That guy. I think you just chop the tail off the gargoyle. I did uh, that. It was just Although that the axe I got from that is not as good as the one I got. Drew, uh, any interest in these Souls games? Kind of. Huh. Um, I I would. I'm interested to, to try Dark Souls two. Uh, just popping it in and going for it. Um, having not really played any of them, hmm. just to see what that experience is like. Do you feel like it's like a little late to like the whole experience? Like everybody's no, I, lining up to try it, and then it'll be, like, oh my god, you've got to do this and this and this. No, I think I'm kind of in a good spot where I've seen a lot of it. Um, I haven't been paying that much attention. Yeah. In the control room, sure. Uh, I'm just kind of watching. But it seems like you've, you've probably seen enough to you know, like you know the, the like, know basic what, flow of combat. Exactly. Like what I know that kind do. of thing. Yeah. I don't know like how I would spec out a character sure. or any of that kind of stuff. Um, but uh, that's that's the place where you can really get lost your first time. Like I still barely understand that. So yeah, but um, all I know is I'm putting everything into <laughs> just, um, um, vitality and endurance. Like that's, hmm. that's valid, right? It's a, so weird, far. it's a weird game. Like, it's, it's I would hope that any way would be valid. Yeah. Yeah. Otherwise, yeah. If, if the game allows you to paint yourself into a corner, yeah. that's sort of a problem. It really, yeah, right? it really sure. is like uh, odd in that way. And I'm no expert, but like the stats you put in, it, like you have to. It's such a weird balance between the equipment you're using and your actual stats. Because every every item, well, most of the items have like um, how they interact with a certain stat A B C D or E or right? I think we even have S yeah. rank. And so, like you know, if you're if you put a hundred points into strength, and you get a sword that only scales with dexterity, you're only going to do the base damage of that sword. Oh, is that how that stuff works? Yeah. Oh shit. So that plus you have the base damage and the plus next to it. Okay. Tells you how much extra you're doing. Oh, that's where that comes from. So like versus where if I put on that sword and I put all my points into dexterity, I'm going to do like a hundred times more damage than you mm. are. Okay. The the system you just explained, I don't see how there's any way that you could intuit that just from staring at that screen. 
Like, mm. like I don't see any indication unless there's something I missed. I don't see any indication that that's where that bonus damage is. Yeah, coming that's from. the kind of stuff that scares. Like me. that stuff is very obscure. Uh, and I think some of that stuff might also. I don't know how much of that stuff works with uh, uh, some of the armor, but like, there's weird, there's super weird things. Like, I think the sorcerers used to be like intelligence, right? And like, uh-huh. there's a sorcerer, cler- yeah, a cleric class that uses faith, right? And like, that's on paper. It looks like that's what you're gonna do, right? I'm a sorcerer, put points into intelligence. I'm a cleric, whatever. But like, I'm pretty sure you can find uh, like a basic quote unquote wand for a cleric that's like, ah, now your miracles that you cast are based off of intelligence. Fuck faith. <laughs> you know, like, well, well, that's cool, I guess, because I'm a sorcerer and I can use this stuff. And I think it might work the other way around too, where it's like, hey, for example, I don't think this is actually in there, but like, hey, here's a magic wand that uses strength. Like, go for it, right? Uh, and it's really weird stuff. To the second time I'm playing through, that I'm paying way more attention and min maxing my build that mm-hmm. way to be like, I'm gonna go all dexterity. I'm just gonna look for the items that give me dexterity. I'll put one point into strength. Like, I don't even fucking care because I'm never gonna use it. Uh, and that's kind of doing that kind of stuff is way deeper i think of an experience uh and that's why I'm, I'm kind of using guides too to be like well what's the weapon i gotta go find? right yeah because out of stumbling upon this is going to be a nightmare mm-hmm. uh and crafting that stuff it gets weird and you want to look for stuff that the reason that drake sword is so good early on it has a base damage of like 200 yeah. right the reason it sucks also is like it doesn't, it doesn't scale, scale with yeah. anything and you can't upgrade it right? you can upgrade it with dragon scales no. but uh they're hard to find right. so it's like a, that whole game is full of stuff like that and that's really intimidating yep uh when you haven't cracked that code that's about yeah and, and most people don't have the capacity to play through that game two or three times to and kind of, a, kind of get into that hidden depth and there's know, a because, shitload of stuff you're getting drops constantly yeah and it's not as easy as just like it does DPS. There's no just right. DPS meter. Right. Mm. Uh, Is there anything I can do with like the zillion broken sword hilts I have? So yes, totally. What? Like you, I think you can craft like one of the best swords in the, like towards what? the end of the game. I think you combine it with a soul, and it's like make sure you hold on to like a broken sword hilt, and plus the soul makes this thing. Yeah, it's like one of the. I'm not 100 th- percent sure. Do you think the game would lose a lot of what you like about it if they just? Like explain had that. good menus and stat screens and were better at explaining those systems. I think mm. I don't think the menus and stat screens would them being better would be better. Like and I yeah. think like the change from Demon Souls to Dark Souls is a step forward. Right, but uh, it's still like, not quite like telling you how stuff scales yeah. with everything. I think is would be better. I think explicitly saying what is going to happen with those items would lose some like, I mean, yeah, in terms of not like, nece- yeah not, you wouldn't want necessarily want to say like hey here's to how to craft this and hang on to the head this many right. of these for that like not revealing that much but just straight up saying like here's yeah when you put points into this stat here's what's going to happen yeah at some point at some point you're talking about mechanics versus content right like understanding the mechanics better is beneficial you know it's just like here's how the math works under the hood that makes your yeah. character work and go it's right because like having been through it so many times i see that stuff differently now mm-hmm. like I, I see when you put points into strength what it's affecting so it i've in my mind i've decoded a bit of like it, it makes right. more sense to me now but I remember when I first started playing. Yeah, like there's there's icons and all over the like screen. definitely like yeah. The 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 time I spent with it was just like I I don't know right stuff what turning I'm, blue stuff I don't turning even red. Want to know what I need to choose? Yeah. Like the, I'm not even sure what to equip. Like there there was really I'm not sure how just they, out of the gate. None of the none of the menu stuff seemed yeah. like it was even meeting me halfway. Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't yeah. meet you at all. It doesn't even bother. It doesn't even lift a finger. Yeah. So like for for me, like having that combined with like not really liking the way the characters move or strike. I'm like, yeah. all right, I'm good. Well, right. If you don't, if you're, but that's another thing about that game too. Well, I've certainly played plenty of games that like where the gameplay is not the draw, but there's enough statsiness to it, sure, and enough loot at you know aspect of it to go like, all right, well, I'm gonna stick with this thing anyway. The, the cur- so I just wonder, like, if they had, if they actually cleaned that stuff up, would that be enough? I hope they do. I hope they clean up a little more of the, especially the scaling stuff, because that, that's a hard to intuit and like. Some of the stuff with armor, like what's poise? Like why does that matter, right? Like what is, like why would I want something with a high poise? Or like oh, not all. Even in the beginning, like not all shields are going to block 100 percent of damage. Like I, I didn't realize that. Right. Um, but and conversely, now that I have one that does, I'm like, why would I want another shield? What? Because you want maybe you want a higher poise, or like maybe you want better magic defense. Yeah, sure. Uh, but that game, and I'm not trying to champion it in any way. I think I think it's a solid game. I don't think it's like the best game ever. Mm. Uh, some of that stuff just does not reveal itself unless you have put in so many hours. Like, if you don't like the way it controls in the fighting, it's kind of an interesting part of the game because each weapon, there's a lot in it. Each weapon animates right. differently, right? Yeah, yeah. So, like, 
Also, the armor you're wearing dictates how fast you can move and roll. But like, aside from that, which is kind of almost like just three stages of like you're yeah. like kind of light, medium, and heavy. Sure. Like the weapons are so I I didn't enjoy the combat in the game the first time I played until I got the spear, which was just like poke. Right. It was like oh, I keep hitting the walls with my sword and mm. like yeah. swinging it, and then it's like oh, the spear you just jab it forward. Uh, or like you sweep it like that plays completely different. Uh, I just I was just playing recently and dumped this sword that had high damage because I just didn't like the way the guy animated with it. I was mm-hmm. like, I'll use this other sword that, uh, that you know you can hit with. Yeah, and, that I just enjoy just more. Better, yeah. and it's like a lower, you know, and then you have to do the math in your head is like, well, it hits harder, but it's slower. Right. But this one hits faster. And like, yeah, and that's I, you know, I, that's I make decisions like that across a lot of games. It's, it's why I don't use two handed weapons in most games. But yeah, this is just takes it a step further of like, I'm going to give you a completely different animation for almost every weapon. Mm-hmm. Uh, and like, unless you find that weapon, you might hate the combat in this game completely. Because <laughs> like, maybe this weapon makes you take two steps forward. Right. Like, that sucks. Yeah. Is that going to happen all the time? This weapon I was using, the guy almost did like a somersault when I swung it. I was like, that's dumb. I'm never going to, like, fuck that weapon. Like, yeah. I don't want to go forward that much. Yeah, like, like every, every good weapon I've found besides this battle axe that dropped has been so slow that it seems useless. I guess, I guess some of the I guess those cater to some people, but it's not. It's not I, how I feel I like in, in games where there are choices like that, I end up gravitating towards the fastest, spammiest weapon in the game. Where it's like, okay, what's the the least animation? I, you know, because if I'm always hitting, yeah, in a lot of games, they're not. You know, the AI is not going to be able to cope with that. Yeah. I'm just yeah, tearing, that's, that's, tearing through. That's stuff. that's never an option in these games. Yeah, at all. Your stamina depletes so fast. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, even the most basic attack is going to take like some, but. Significant percentage of your stamina. It's what I went with. Like in this time of playing through, I did go with. I literally just put two weapons on because you do the same area a bunch. Right. And like the one I liked, it took me longer to kill guys. Uh, so the one that was faster, mm. I was just killing them faster. It's it's a super interesting game, and, and uh, like knowing why yeah. everybody interesting is the right word. It for becomes it. very personal, and that's why I think everybody gets so attached to it. That makes it through because you right. just find that build that you then think is like the perfect build. Like, how would anybody play this game any other way? Sure, you kinda, you, yeah. and you kind of feel like you accomplished it. You know, it's like yeah. I put this together myself. I found these things and upgraded them and, and pieced this build together in a way that I like. I don't know how they would. If I were designing that, what I'd put up front to be like, here are three weapons, like try them out, and or like you know this one's going to scale with like how you'd explain that. Let me let me ask you this: now that you've been playing through it with the trainer and the, and the guides and stuff, uh, in those early areas like the parish and the undead burg and blah blah blah, like are you finding a lot of stuff like in the same vein as the Drake sword that you had no idea was there the first time? Like, are there a lot of like really good items and stuff off to the sides that you really have to go looking for? So like when I, like looking at the guides when I look at the areas, not necessarily no okay. it's more of the stuff that you were talking about like what does this broken this hilt do right right so like following the guide it'll be like hey hold on to that like okay you know like so it's more five late. hours from now we're okay. gonna want that more late game stuff yeah or like hey you, you should you know maybe upgrade this but th- there are so many different ways to go in that game right you just have to choose like i just chose a guide that's like i want to i'm doing this because i want to get all the story out of it uh so um, I found a guy that was basically going to take me through all the dialogue options and make sure I don't miss any of the characters. Uh, so that's kind of where I'm going. Uh, but it is interesting following somebody else's, you know, guy following a playthrough for a style that is completely different than the one I had played because, sure. again, like I yeah. said, you get to a point where I was just like, I don't know how anybody else plays this. this is, I obviously found the right way to do it. Yeah. Right. I, I, yeah, I absolutely respect that that game allows that degree of flexibility, and I really admire people who put in the time to like put those other character builds together. You know, but yeah. you know, I should also think that any way you play that game is is equally valid. It's also interesting because there's stuff I remember playing when I played it originally, not for the stream, but when I first started playing, that they patched out that were just like exploits and bugs. Yeah, I heard they, they made, a lot, made a lot of changes earlier on. Uh, hmm. So it, trying to do those cheats as I'm going through <laughs> and be like, oh, oh, that, 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 oh I can't kill that dragon in one hit anymore. Ah. Mm. Well, fuck, that sucks. Anyway, Dark Souls. 